Hey you guys, it's Jessica. My username is Jessicakes and today is October 5th, 2018. And I am coming on today to do a week seven post-op VSG update for you guys. I have to be kind of quick um, because I have to go back to work um, just for a few hours, but um, yeah, so this week was pretty uneventful and I don't have much to talk about, but um, I had a feeling that I was going to like hit a, or maintain this week because my weight was going up and down and up and down, but it never went down, down. So um, I just kind of had a feeling about that. Um, and I kind of, I feel like maybe week six or five or six is when a lot of people do maintain their weight um, after surgery um, just because they're getting used to eating food and kind of the trauma of the surgery is catching up with them and then real life sets in. So um, I kind of had a feeling it was going to happen soon. So it's fine with me. Um, I weighed in at exactly 192.2 pounds, which is exactly the same as last week. So that means I'm down like 43 point something pounds total. And I don't know, I, it's in my last video, but it's the same as last week. Um, but yeah, so I've been going to the gym and that's been really, really good. Um, I make it a priority in my life now and I, I'm not overdoing it. I'm going three times a week, um, plus two times I um, do water aerobics at work. Um, so I feel really good and I like lifting again. It feels good to be in the weight room. I feel, um, it's kind of funny because not much has changed between now and I don't know, 30 pounds ago when I started going back to the gym, but I'm much more confident with myself. I knew what I was doing then, but for some reason I would get intimidated and, um, and I felt uncomfortable and now I just go and I do my thing and it is what it is and I like it and I am starting to see kind of the same people around the same time. So that's nice. And, um, yeah. I I wanted to talk to you guys though a little bit about um, some experience gym experiences because they're kind of funny. Um, today was nuts at <laughs> when I went to the gym. I was doing an upper body workout and um, I was down in the weight room and I was the only other person there with some guy, a young guy. <laughs> And he was like, he started roaring like a lion and growling. And like, he'd look at himself in the mirror and be like, you're a sexy motherfucker. And then he would be like, I'm a beast. I'm a beast. And like before he lifted and like, I, I'm not shaming anyone for how much weight they can lift because I weigh I don't lift that much weight either but like if you're pumping yourself up that much you better be lifting a lot of weight and he wasn't <laughs> and I was like oh what is he doing and he was like fuck yeah fuck yeah and then all of a sudden so I'm just down there like trying not to laugh and I'm like what is happening and, <laughs> and then he's like he like looks at himself in the mirror and he's like, you're a little bitch and like slaps his face. And I'm like, oh my God, what is happening right now? And then he like comes over to me and he's like, excuse me, miss, um, are you using this bench? And I'm like, uh, no, you do your thing. I'm not getting in your way, crazy pants. And then after he like apologized to me, he like found me on the treadmill on my cool down and he's like, oh, sorry about that. I'm like, you do you bro like that shit was weird <laughs> he was like sorry <laughs> I'm like what is wrong with people like keep it in your head like I'm all for like getting pumped up but like whoa crazy so I thought that was so funny and it like 
I don't know. It just baffled me. So that was a funny experience. And then, um, and then a few days ago, so I know I did a video about, um, that guy that had stuff to say about my body on, on a Facebook group. And he was saying that I have a lot of fat to lose still and I need plastic surgery and I need to keep going and that obese people shouldn't be proud of themselves until they're at their goal weight and that I deserve to have like mom bod or something like he was an asshole like I was so pissed a few videos ago I explained the whole thing I was so mad and then the same group um, so that guy kind of went away. I think, well, I blocked him, so <laughs> obviously he went away, but I posted something just about like, oh, I went to the gym today and did blah, 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 blah. And so then two different men again, and I'm sorry, like, I don't want to sound like I hate men because I don't, I love everyone, but I feel like in the social climate right now, like, I think people are realizing more and more how much a lot of different people are being treated differently and how I just I mean I won't go into it but all I can say is like mansplaining is a real thing like I get it constantly and maybe it's because I'm really like sensitive to it but I feel like I get it like almost on the daily basis where some guy is trying to tell me what to do. And I'm like, I know what I'm doing and I don't need your advice and I'm not asking you. And like, you don't even know what you're talking about. So it like, it, it just is one of those things that really gets on my nerves. And, um, so anyway, same group, two different guys. I said what I was doing at the gym and then this one guy goes, oh, you don't seem like you're in great shape to begin with, so I should, so you should probably stick to swimming and yoga while you're pregnant. And I'm like, excuse me, I've been lifting even at my heaviest, like I know what I'm doing and I've been going to the gym and I like, it, I'm not starting anything new and I'm not going to hurt myself and I know what I'm doing. So why are you just assuming because one I'm pregnant and two I'm fat that I don't know what the heck I'm doing like that's very presumptuous and then this other person said oh focus on cardio because you still have fat to lose and I'm like who are you guys who are you people it wouldn't even matter if it was guy or girl just saying like, who are you to tell me what to do with my pregnant body? Like, are you, or anybody, like, you don't even know what you're talking about and it drives me crazy and I'm like, one, I'm not, like, I'm not the cardio queen and I'm not, like, the person that only cares about the scale weight. Like, I like the way my body looks when I lift weights and I like the way I am toned and I like I like all of that and I like the way I feel stronger like I'm not going to st sit on the treadmill for like five hours a day just so I can burn more calories like it's that's not even how it works and I just it drives me crazy when I'm not even asking for advice and people are like you should do this you should do this you shouldn't do this you need to eat this. You need to not do this. Like, one, I'm pregnant. I'm not like, I'm not, it doesn't really change much. Like, yeah, I'm tired and yeah, you should be nice to me and give me your seat on the bus. But like, <laughs> like, I'm not, I can do whatever I want to do. And if you keep telling me I can't, like, I'm just, it's just going to aggravate me. So... <laughs> that's that um <laughs> oh goodness sorry I just get on rants and I just sometimes I feel very passionate lately so don't mind me um what else 
since my last video I've been doing pretty good with eating but I think the big test is going to be this weekend seeing if I can stay on track and my really my goal is to try to um, log my food and track my food because I do I want to make sure I'm getting that protein in and if I want something else I need to make sure I have the protein first and and just make good choices so yeah tomorrow we're going to the farmers market we need some more berries and eggs and we're gonna get some some meat to make chicken probably chicken thighs um, and maybe some fish because there's a really good uh, fish um, stand at the farmers market fresh fish like that day so um, yeah, I am gonna kind of make a list while I'm at work tonight to see what I want. Um, but yeah, hopefully next week I come in with a loss. I'm not too worried about it though. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys all have a great weekend and I will talk to you all later.